Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, so, if you saw from my title, which I'm sure you have, we're going to be unboxing this month's Glitz Glam Box. If you are unfamiliar with Glitz Glam Box, it is a monthly beauty subscription. It is indie brand, and sometimes they do throw in their own brand of cosmetics. Uh, and it's like, it's supposed to be everything that you need for a full glam look. Um, thus far, this is my fourth, fourth or fifth box from them. Now I can't totally recall. Uh, I want to say fourth. I'm pretty sure this is my fourth. Um. I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I should cancel them. I feel like this is going to be my deciding box. Uh, and you guys let me know um, if I do cancel or any other subscription services that you guys would want to see me unbox. Let me know down below. <laughs> All right, so let's crack into it. So when you open it up, it's just yellow box, yellow, orange. They have a sticker with just a bunch of different fonts of their logo, name, name, not logo. <laughs> right on top here is, uh, this month's theme is I Slay. Um, and it's got a list of everything that you received in the box, on the backs, just some information about building your own palette. So everything is conveniently wrapped up in this little dude and then there's a bunch of wasted packaging. So when we crack in here this is all of our fun stuff. So the first thing I see on here is a little glitter pod. So this is their own brand of glitter and my shade that I got is Star. I don't really have, I don't have glitter glue to like, you know, do it, but that is super pretty. I don't know, it just feels like, how can you tell if it's cosmetic grade or if it's just from the craft store like that's super pretty but it's kind of scratchy feeling like I uh, isn't it supposed to be finer milk I don't know maybe I should look into that before I go smacking this shit on my eyelids right I would assume that it's cosmetic glitter oh uh, it says cosmetic glitter eye face lip and body safe hmm. retail value on this is three dollars next guy in here is from clean cl clean it's from Clean Color. Uh, blending brush. Uh, and their retail value just says various brands of brushes are ranging between $2 and $6. Uh, it's definitely probably not the highest of quality. I don't know how to like get it so that you guys can see. Uh, it's not, there's definitely some crazy dudes here, and it's not cut evenly up here. Uh, all of these little hairs, that's once you wash it, you can reshape it. So we'll see. I mean, it's definitely soft feeling. We'll see. I'll give it a whirl. I like getting brushes, so that's, that's a bonus. All right, next in here is my eyelashes. Uh, every month from them, you do get a set of eyelashes which has made me venture more into different styles which I really like so these are the lashes very pretty very wispy I feel like they're they'd be pretty natural looking so I got mine in the style orchid uh, the MSRP on this the MSRP the retail value on this is $5.99. Uh, 
All right, the very last thing in here is from X and O Cosmetics. Natural Seduction Evolve Your Beauty. Uh, and this is cruelty free. All right, so when we open her up, there is a mirror, and this is the color story. Um, I mean, there's some pretty, pretty colors in here. Let me swatch it on this arm. Like, this looks. Ooh, that was provocative. Uh, let's try. Let's try this black guy and see. That's. Uh, I mean. Not too, too shabby. Uh, and that was black veil. Let's try, we'll try Temptation. Oh, these are very pretty. And we'll try Fantasy. Ooh, I like that one. Uh, let's try one more matte one. We'll try this dude, Tantalize. I definitely feel like the shimmers, you get a lot more payoff than you do with the the mattes, which... Oh, bleh, bleh, bleh. That was Deceive. Definitely, yeah, I mean, I feel like you get better payoff with the shimmers. I mean, the mattes aren't horrible. Definitely can't wait to play with this. This looks nice. Uh, and the retail value on this is $25.99. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence on this box overall. Um, they definitely, there have been, I think there was, we'll see, I'm pretty positive it's been four months. Um, out of the four, there's definitely been two months that have absolutely wowed me. I loved what I got in the box, all that stuff. I was totally happy with everything. Um, this one, I mean, it's pretty cool. I wish that they would include, like, you know, if they would start including, like, maybe a little, a little sample size of some glitter glue and you know maybe a little sample size of some eyelash glue with this so that you could do a complete look i feel like i'd probably like this a little bit better um i don't know kind of on the fence we'll see i don't know if i want to keep getting it or not i don't know you guys let me know what you think okay we'll uh you guys can be my deciding factor there's the finger gun uh, you guys can be my deciding factor whether or not I keep doing this. Um, and also for those of you that have stuck around <laughs> while I babble on. Uh, for these unboxings, what? how do you guys want to see these? Uh, do you guys like seeing like the Ipsy versus Boxy charm? Um, do you want me to do them like on their own? Or just as an unboxing? I don't know. Do you guys want to see like try-ons kind of stuff? Do everything? You let me know. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. You let me know what you think. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I cannot express how thankful I am for all of you that watch me like on a consistent basis because I really don't know what I'm doing. I truly appreciate and love each and every one of you. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new. Pew, pew! Pew! Hey. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.